Oh, we done pissed him off. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Man, kayak fishing season is quickly winding down. And I can tell that because it is cold this morning. I'm gonna be cold when I launch this kayak. I'm, I, I'm gonna be cold for a minute, <laughs> I have a feeling, but we're gonna get the kayak out today because it has been exactly one month and three days since I have had the Hobie on the water. And that is just way too long, especially with the season fading out. So we're gonna head out to a local lake. I gotta, I'm going after catfish, bass, and crappie today. Uh, I've got a kind of different plan of attack for this lake than we usually use, so I'm super stoked about that. Real quick, if you end up liking today's video, don't forget to hit that, blah, blah, blah. don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out our channel page. We've got a lot of great content. There's something for everybody on there. So that's my quick plug. Don't forget to hit subscribe. So it's Kira's first day of school, so I'm gonna go finish getting her ready and we're gonna get her on the bus. And then me and the trash panda here are rolling out to the lake. We'll see you there. Not as cold as I was expecting. This camera, on the other hand, seems intent on being as difficult as humanly possible today. Hoping when I'm on the water, it will stay put. Oh, we done pissed him off. You know, people often ask me what it's like with the Mirage Drive. Um, I get a lot, of, especially from bass boaters, I get a lot of, uh, do your legs get, does it hurt your legs? Do you get tired real quick? Et cetera, et cetera. My answer is always the same. Um, it's work, but at the same time, it's kind of effortless, and it's, it's just not too bad. Plus, I do it so often that it's not that big a deal. But I will tell you, at the end of the winter, <laughs> or even in this case, a month off, I'm going to feel it today. I'm going to feel it today. All right, y'all, we're out here on the lake. We're at Route J Reservoir. It's a pretty beautiful morning. It's not quite as cold as I thought it was going to be. The water is pretty warm. It's actually pushing about 75 degrees. So we're going to fish a spot of this lake. Even though it's a small lake, there's quite a few places that I have not fished yet. And one of them is over here. Christian was fishing it the other day. There's a dam over here. And Christian had some pretty decent success. I'm gonna anchor up over here and I'm gonna be working my go-to lure, I'll show you that in a few minutes, and possibly my buzz bait in here. And I'm gonna put out a catfish rig with some shrimp on it.
All right, y'all. I'm anchored out about 20, 21 feet of water right now. When I started anchoring, I was in about 16. But I let myself come this way a little more because there's just a ton of activity off what is now the back of the kayak, which is good because that's where I want to get my catfish rig. And I'm going to cast my lures along these shorelines here. Look how beautiful that is. Get this rod first. This lure cover off of here. This is just frozen shrimp from Walmart. You'd be surprised how well frozen shrimp from Walmart catches freshwater fish. This is my go-to, you've seen it a million times, but if you're new here, show it to you again. This is my Sugalang five foot ultra light, ultra light, not ultra light, with a one eighth jig head and a two tail Mr. Crappie lure made by Strike King. I'm using 15 pound water champ braid. It used to be very bright blue, but it's seen a fair amount of use the last two or three months. I'm not even sure how long it's been on there, but Hasn't been all that long. This lure catches me crappie, bluegill, almost a gar, bass all the time. Big school of fish just came through. Big school. That's probably crappie if I had to guess. We do have shad in this lake, but that doesn't look like shad to me. All right, y'all, I want to move a little more over into here <clears throat> and work a little closer to the shoreline here. Let's pull this rod up. Look how much muck is on this bad boy. It's actually clean. I'm surprised by that. Whoop. Shit. <laughs> I'm very coordinated this morning. Get this back in the water in a second. We've adjusted to 13 feet of water with the drop off down to 23 to 25 being just a few feet that way. So we're gonna get the catfish rig back out over that side along that slope. Now I should take a second and tell you guys what I'm using for the catfish rig also. This is a Mudville Catmaster. It's a rod and reel combo that you can buy. 
it's pretty well available. I picked this one up at Farm and Home in Hannibal. I think that's where I got it. Could have been Amazon, actually. Anyway, I've got, I want to say this is 80 pound braid on here. I run whatever the heaviest braid I happen to have at the time is on my catfish rods. Um, just what I do. It's a, man, this might be like an eight foot rod. The rod itself is seven foot six. I don't know what size circle hook this is. It's kind of my go-to size when I'm really not sure what kind of catfish I'm going to be getting into. And that's a one and a half ounce uh, slider weight on the line there with a simple little bead stop. Very common, basic catfish rig to float your bait off the bottom. And the leader is... I want to say it's 40 pound fluorocarbon. It's 40 or 50 pound liter. I had to stumble through telling you guys what my catfish rig was, but to be honest, I don't know that I've been out fishing for catfish yet this year. Um, with rod and reel, I put out some limb lines in a past video, but I don't think I've actually had my catfish rods out yet this year, and I didn't have them out much last year. So it's been a minute. I, st I start to get more serious. I love catfish. That, it's my favorite freshwater fish, hands down. Um, but I tend to get more serious about catfish Honestly, really, uh, between when bow season starts for deer and when rifle opens up in November, um, that fall time period, I, I spend a lot of early archery season catfishing instead of deer hunting. It's when I tend to have my most success. And then after rifle season ends, when it's cold and nobody in the right mind wants to be outside, that's when I like to bank fish for catfish. Because if you can figure out where the catfish are when it's like that, and you can put live bait or very tempting bait within a few feet of their face, you're going to catch catfish all day long. If we don't get into something soon over here, we're going to move to <clears throat> that side. And if that don't get me anywhere, we're going to move over to the flat where I typically fish. But this is a new spot to me and Christian. Um, at least to me, like I've never fished over in here. I see a lot of guys doing it. I don't really see a lot of guys catching stuff, but Christian had a pretty productive day over in here the other day when I couldn't get out with him. All right, y'all, we're just gonna do it. I know we just readjusted, but we're just gonna go ahead and move over there. I haven't had so much as a hit <clears throat> down in here. And I don't always stick to the whole, there's a general rule if you don't, uh, if you're not getting even hits within like 15 minutes, you should relocate. I don't always follow that. I tend to stay in one spot once I'm set up and, and really try to work it. Um, I don't know if that's out of laziness, stubbornness, or both, but we're going to break that habit today. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to release that yet. Let me get my other rod up.
All right, guys, we're still pretty deep. We're in 20 feet of water here. Um, this this kind of an aggressive slope just over here. Um, got this structure here. So I'm just kind of working this area over here while I let the cat rod hang out over here. Bring in some of this slack here. It's got a little more than it needs. Oop. <clears throat> we're going to make our strategy different today. Today's going to be the kind of day where Steve just moves around a lot. Let's go to the point. Well, what I like to call the flat. There's a lot of flats and points in here. There's one specifically that Christian and I call the flat. <clears throat> and it is my favorite place to fish in here. I'm having no luck right now. And I have been dying to drop a catfish rig off the flat into the deep and see if it performs. So that's exactly what we're going to do. <clears throat> and it ain't too far of a cruise. <clears throat> we'll anchor up in probably about 10 feet of water and we'll be casting our lure into water that ranges between 2 and 10 and we'll be putting our catfish rig on a slope that goes pretty aggressively from 10 to about 25. That's the plan anyway. Let's go get her done. I went to the danger zone. Bow, 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 bow. Right into the danger zone. So where we're heading is dead ahead to what I like to call the flat. And we're going to see what we can get into when we get over there. Let's enjoy the ride. Whew, we are going to have to wash out the drive when we get home today. It's gonna be all gunked up. Try to avoid some of this crap. We're in 28 feet of water right here. 23, slope has begun. <laughs> zigzag, zigzag. So you can't zigzag no more. <laughs> it ain't a straight path, but it's a path with a little less gunk in the drive. <laughs> All right, here's our slope. 16. So what we're doing is straight behind us is the down slope to 25. 13. Right there. Sing us a song, you're my anchor man. Lock me in place today. Cause we're all in a mood for a fish fry. And you've got the position no right. Oh, it's too much line fly. We got bait fish blowing up right there on the other side of the gunk. I'd rather keep working it the way I usually do. Just like this. It's like that Limp Biscuit song. Just like this. Can you feel it? Then get up, then get up. Ooh, got to blow up over there too. We're gonna end up moving all around the day. 
Ooh, I can cast into that school bait. There we go. This fishery is notoriously difficult. And Christian and I have had a fair amount of success out here this year. Um, more success this year so far than either us have either of us have had over the past several years combined. It's like used to be like every trip was like a skunk. I don't know if we're just getting better or what the deal is, but definitely better this year. So even though a start like today is frustrating, it's a gift compared to what we're used to out here in past years. Oh, sorry, you guys don't get to watch this part. You guessed it. We're moving. <laughs> Ain't even playing the games today. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, rolling. We're going to find you, Nemo. Spin us around. There she is. Fish on. First fish of the day coming in the boat. Maybe. It doesn't want to. Oh! First fish of the day coming in the boat. Maybe. It doesn't want to. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I'm trying to get better about my cursing. I feel bad for that. Oh, so close. That was a decent bass. I mean, nothing I'm too heartbroken to lose. It's not a PB or anything like that. But what it is, is a start. So right when he, he got to the boat, he took off underneath of it. and That gave him the leverage that he needed. It's a start. Should have gave him the net. Should have gave him the net. Put me in coach, I'm ready to play today. What the fuck happened here? Yeah, it's about time to re-spool this bad boy. All right, we're moving. Guys, it is a beautiful day out here. The way the the clouds are just mirrored off the water. All right, y'all. Our next stop might be behind me. Uh, there's a couple. There's a couple old duck blinds out here, but the one behind me's got some decent depth around it. The other one's like too shallow even for the kayak. So we may work our way over and try to work the structure around that duck blind next. Moving, moving, moving. All right, let's cruise over there. Man, guys, today is starting off slow. We've been out here. We've been out here two hours, and we've had one fish, and it got away. We're going over to the duck blind. Chicka chicka yeah. All right, so we got the, we're over here by this duck blind. We got the catfish rig back over there in about 24 feet of water. Uh, and we're gonna work the, man, I'm just off today. We got the catfish, 
catfish rig off the back in about 24 foot of water. And we're gonna work the structure of this duck blind with our lure here. All right, I need to get up off my, up off my butt for a little while. Fish on, baby, fish on. Oh, you're just a, oh, you're just a little guy, but you're a tasty guy. Oh. Ow. You're going to get the beer belly in a minute. y'all he ain't a monster but he is an eating size little crappie crappie filet and since i'm making tacos today he's coming home in the cooler you go little fella Guys, if you haven't watched my do-it-yourself video for lure covers yet, do yourself a favor and check that out because these lure covers are cheap, easy, and they work fantastically. Not only are they good for covering lures, they're really good for covering uh, weights on your heavier rods like my catfish rod, keeping them from bouncing around. All right, let's work this short line. Oh. All right, y'all, so not great action out here today. Not what we were hoping for, but we do have the one crappie in the cooler. So we're having crappie tacos and shrimp tacos for lunch, that's for sure. We're gonna get the kayak loaded up.